Secondly, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell signals that he believes that the president has committed impeachable offenses. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is furious with President Trump, done with him, and the two men have not spoken recently. I am told McConnell is angry about the president's actions leading up to the riot last Wednesday. McConnell also blames the president's comments and actions for losing the Republican majority in the Senate. Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader, has told associates he believes President Trump committed impeachable offenses and is pleased that Democrats are moving to impeach him, believing that it will make it easier to purge him from the party. The urgent coverage came moments after the New York Times banner headline. McConnell is said to believe Trump committed impeachable offenses. The Trump sycophants also reacted urgently. Tommy Lahren, do you know who she is? Our president, Donald Trump, who delivered a phenomenal speech filled with inspiration, patriotism, and a renewed call to action. Lahren tweeted, oh, Mitch, 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 the road you're headed down isn't one you want to be on. If you support impeachment, I can promise this will be your last term in office. All the RNC money in the world won't get you reelected. What? McConnell is 78. He just won his most recent term in November. In other words, if Tommy Lahren's argument that Mitch McConnell faces trouble five and a half years from now is the best political argument and strategy and tactic she can come up with, well, the Trumpsters are even more pathetic than any of us had realized. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for watching. Mitch McConnell's career to many progressives has simply been abhorrent. He, of course, blocked campaign finance reform many years ago. He doled out tax cuts to the rich, gave many corporations corporate welfare, courtesy of the U.S. taxpayer. And, of course, there's the hypocrisy on the Supreme Court. McConnell jammed through the confirmation of Amy Coney Barrett just before the November election, even though he wouldn't give a hearing to Merrick Garland, President Obama's nominee, in the last year of his administration. But on this issue impeachment of Donald Trump, Mitch McConnell is going to be on the right side of history based on everything we've seen so far. So why the change? Why is it that Mitch McConnell's drawing a line in the sand? Well, a key part of this has to do with brand safety. The Republican brand right now is in deep trouble, and even McConnell can recognize the lasting damage that Donald Trump has inflicted. The voters, the courts, and the states have all spoken. They've all spoken. If we overrule them, it would damage our republic forever. McConnell's stand puts his own safety at risk, just as it is at risk for Democrats and some of the other Republicans who are also going along with Trump's impeachment. And keep in mind that in December, McConnell's house was vandalized when Congress was unable to come up with economic relief, an economic relief package for COVID-19. McConnell's not alone. Lindsey Graham, who was seen by some Trumpsters as having not gone far enough in support of the president, was harassed recently at National Airport by people who called him a traitor. You are a traitor, Lindsey Graham, a traitor! It is certainly possible that McConnell is now going to give cover to other Republicans who are disgusted with President Trump and want to support his impeachment. Democrats, of course, are pleading for help. Absolutely excise this cancer uh, from our country, let alone a party. This isn't about a party. This isn't about politics. This is about protection of our Constitution. It's also about history, and history seems destined to record that when the finale came on Donald Trump, the lawmaker holding the bloodiest dagger was Mitch McConnell, the Republican with the greatest ability to inflict damage on Trump within the Republican Party. Mitch McConnell's willingness to be the final Trump executioner also underscores just how extreme and unprecedented Donald Trump's actions really were.